what's up guys we're gonna do a little update <laughs> I did a couple lives when I was sitting on my front porch and uh, there was an apple tree in the background and I was talking about it was dead yeah it was dead it was dead dead I'm gonna show you how dead it was that's how dead it was we've had some storms and it fell over. It got drunk and fell over. It's all rotten though. Here, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. See that? It was like all rotten. Yeah, that's my can am. My can am. But anyway, yeah. And to make that even worse, y'all remember I talked about. I put, uh, instead of shingling the roof of my dog kennels, I used tarps. Well, it worked. Worked fine, actually. No problems. Uh, but the tarps have finally had it. They finally ripped. At any rate, it is what it is. Not a big deal. Uh, so yeah, this weekend we're not going backpack. We're not going camping. Y'all know her. Yeah, we finna cut up a damn tree and uh, I guess shingle a roof. Oh, and to make it better, this one. Thought she was a plumber. <laughs> I thought she changed her shower head, and apparently she cracked the pipe in the wall. So, uh, where we store all of our gear, about ankle deep in water right now in my house. So, we're gonna get that taken care of. So here's a weekend of working on the Beach Bluff Outdoors headquarters. We'll see what what else I can get video worthy. Damn, I need to learn how to run a video camera. We'll see what else we can get this video worthy. Well. That wasn't too bad. That was, what, 30 minutes, 45 minutes? She's finishing up. Raking up the last little bit of it. Cleaned all this up. No more tree at all. Tree's all gone. The next thing now is we gotta go wrap Blue's doghouse because winter's coming on. As you know, my dogs got to fighting and I had to uh, separate my dogs. And uh, I never put a roof over her kennel. So uh, that will come at a later date. I'm not gonna do it when it's 100 degrees. It's cooling off now. So we're getting there. But she has an old shipping crate. Uh, that she's been using for a doghouse but you know it's boards like slats and we're getting into kind of some rainy stuff and I want her to have a good quality shelter so uh, I got some six mil heavy plastic we're gonna wrap her doghouse basically give it a shell um, try to make it a little more waterproof so she don't have to worry about getting wet till we can deal with putting a roof on and then I still got to put a roof on one of them I don't know if we're gonna go back with the tarps or just shingle it this time, I'm not sure. We'll, uh, we'll figure that out sometime, maybe later. On to the next project.
as you can see, the lighting is terrible. It's done got pitch black dark. Uh, the haunted apple tree, as you can see, is gone. Happy Spooktober. Yeah, happy, what'd you say? Spooktober. Spooktober. Yeah, Halloween, the haunted tree is gone. I exercised that biatch. Uh, oh, we got Blue's doghouse done. We still have to empty out the gear room. I'm not taking you in my house, mainly because it's none of your business. But empty out the gear room and take the wall apart. And me and my two co-workers have been discussing, I think we might remodel the bathroom. <laughs> That's how shit goes around here. Uh, has small water leak, piss on it, we're remodeling the bathroom. And that's gonna mean taking out a tub, a toilet, and a vanity, ripping out sheetrock, ripping out a ceiling, uh, all in the next, what, 48, 55 hours or so? Maybe take a 12 hour work. So, um, oh, and I uh, gotta make a materials list, we're gonna build a roof over Blue's kennel, and I'm gonna shingle or put a metal. We're doing away with the tarps. That was a ridiculous idea in the first place. I don't know why y'all let me do this stuff. Uh, but I'm either gonna put metal or, or just shingle it. They're 10 by 10. It's 100 square foot. Three of them. That's 300 square foot. So we're just gonna see what we can do. But as of right now, we're gonna go unload the gear room, put this big centrifugal blower mover thing in there and see if we can dry out the daggum carpet and start taking a wall apart and see if we can actually get to the heart of the water leak and I'll try to put some stuff in here like what we do with the roof and all in there later so that's that for right now so stay tuned what's up beautiful people it's day two you hear blue over there. See, poor little thing ain't got a roof. Let me show you, you know, my tarp idea. This is what happened. See, it worked. Did good. And see this where it started ripping. So, we're going to get all this mess off of here. And, uh,. Actually, lay some shingles. See all this. So, we're going to see what happens. square shingles laid uh, May is finishing up leveling a foundation block for the corner post uh, we set them out we, we, we try to dig those holes to fit you know a 4 by 8 cap block and uh, and then bed them in sand but that's what she's doing we got shingles laid way I don't know if y'all can see that but way up there so still got this one to go and we'll have this one you can see we've already got one post up she's working on the other post and and <laughs> we'll uh Keep working we're gonna run out of daylight we still ain't even got to the dig on water leak in the house I keep having to like pause and redo the video because well she don't like it she's like Lizzo and Cardi B or what the heck ever but I've been jamming Motley Crue and uh, Skid Row uh, 
it's getting dark on us I think we're gonna wrap this up for the day uh, we're gonna go eat and then I think we're gonna start trying to dry out some carpet and take a wall apart and we're gonna hit this in the morning um, I've only got like two runs of shingles left on blue uh, pennies pin still got Rangers pin and then huh yeah there's that still got a whole roof to build mm -hmm. yeah I miss I've been up on a roof all day so we're gonna wrap this up for tonight and take all of our crap inside and see what tomorrow holds all right so it's day three uh, man this is gonna be a long video uh, we got the water leak fixed we found the water leak uh, the uh, faucet stem was bad but it was cracked on the inside of the wall so we weren't able to just to replace the stem um, and this young lady went in last night to um, get some clean undergarments I think it was and pulled open her undergarment drawer and there was a snake laying there and I touched it and I freaked out and I haven't no one's seen it since yeah we think it was a gray rat snake she pulled a picture of it up online I figured it was a gray rat because I mean we're way out in the country we get mice from time to time <clears throat> look about a three foot gray rat snake from what she was describing and he vanished we don't know where he went so you know we spent the rest of the night looking for the daggum snake which we never found so he's chilling in there somewhere I hope he knows first a month he gonna owe me some rent money but other than that I don't care he keep the mice down so um we bought some expandable foam went around the house found every hole any hole anywhere we could find put the expanding foam in it the great stuff or whatever they call it uh, I have my wife and Maddie y'all know Maddie she's in there right now they're vacuuming up water with the shop vac and the carpet cleaner and uh, me and May come out here I just finished laying shingles on that one down there uh, Miss Penny's cage I gotta take a run of saw square that end up but I think me and this young lady are going to go ahead and try to get a roof on Blue's cage. Because I've got an extra tarp. I can put a tarp on it if I have to. See Ranger? He back here on the doghouse. Oh, can you see him? That's Ranger. He don't get in a lot of videos. That's my big male. Big male blue tick. Yeah, that's May's youngin'. There's Miss Mouth. And there's Penny but uh so we gonna jump up here and see if we can't screw some lumber on or up or something see if we can make something happen well guess what they sent me the wrong lumber so uh we got the frame started but got some shingles laid So, no more tarp on this building. Still got one little run over here. You can see. Got the frame done. But, and the water leak's fixed. We still ain't found the snake. But we finna put these last about 10 shingles on and we're gonna go eat supper and we'll just build that uh, when I get home from work before uh, me and little Maisie head out for uh, Middle Tennessee for a week in the woods. So this may be the end of it. Uh, we're just gonna call it the end of it. Uh, there was absolutely nothing productive or meaningful in this video, but I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you're probably going to unsubscribe after this video, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And from the Beach Bluff Outdoors headquarters, one tired old man is going to call it a day. We're out.